Yeah, we'll have more on Maria coming up in just a bit. Not expected to make landfall, but still some strong winds along coastal Carolina areas is what we're dealing with. And in fact, notice how we're not seeing a lot in the way of some sunshine at this point. A lot of that is because of some outer bands with Maria, actually, that we are seeing some clouds pushing in, something we weren't expecting. It's 82 degrees now. If we don't see the 90 degree mark, it would be because of those clouds today. But man, we're already plenty hot. Winds out of the south at 7 miles an hour and our dew point coming in at 65. The barometer is actually ticked up. It's now at 30 inches and 11 hundredths is what we're looking at at that point uh, this afternoon. Here's those temperatures for you this afternoon. 82 in Butler, Pittsburgh 82. That's a popular number with Wheeling also at 82. Not everyone's into the 80s already. 79 in Latrobe, Morgantown at 79. Franklin though, 81 degrees and Dubois. Boys. They set a record yesterday hitting 88 degrees. They're now at 79 degrees for their high uh, this afternoon, likely into the upper 80s again. We're going to go 90 degrees in Pittsburgh for a high. Variable winds will be relatively light all day long at about two to five miles an hour. You can really see where the heat is and where it isn't across the U.S. Big trough that's sitting over the uh, west at this point, keeping them nice and cool in places like Denver. But the further off to the east you go, you can see that big ridge in place, 82 now. And yeah, that high temperature of about 90. Look at Louisville already at 86 degrees and Washington, D.C. already at 86. Both of those communities also expected to hit the 90s today for their expected high temperatures. So high pressure is in charge, and that means it will be dry today, likely on Tuesday and Wednesday. Our next good shot of rain will come on Wednesday, or I should say Thursday morning. It's not a great chance for some rain, but at least we'll have a chance as a cold front will slide in. At this point, high pressure is the dominant feature, and we continue to see. Notice those clouds come again. Here's the outer bands of Maria. So we are seeing some clouds from Maria coming in and actually giving us some cloud cover as we're heading into the afternoon. So high temperatures today, it's interesting. Model data always this late into the season has a really hard time of getting a handle on really warm or really hot weather. So they're only going to show about 86 for a high today. Yeah, we should be closer to the 90 degree mark. In fact, we're going to forecast that high of 90 degrees as of midnight. Still fairly warm temperatures still into the 70s. We drop into the mid 60s tomorrow morning as we're starting off. Just remember 71 is the average high this time of the year. So here's a look at Hurricane Maria. It's actually intensified. Winds now at 80 miles an hour did drop down to 75 for a while this morning. And the latest track with Maria is going to take the storm just off of the East Coast. You will notice though that there are now uh, tropical storm warnings issued for parts of the Carolinas and the Outer Banks because of the strong winds we're expected to see from Maria. Here's your seven day outlook. Notice a couple of things hot today and we stay that way through Wednesday and then a big change. Small chance for rain first thing on Thursday morning, but notice high temperatures Thursday and Friday into the 70s. Another chance for rain on Friday brings with it the chance for 60s for highs as we're heading into Saturday and Sunday. So overall within the next seven days, we could look at what is our low temperature today being our high temperature as we're heading into the weekend. It's so weird. I think of September as those beautiful, comfortable yep. 70 degrees. It's like we're going from 90 to 60s. I know I get to drive yes. by the uh, the Banksville pool all the uh -huh, time there. Uh -huh. It's nice and empty at this point. Oh, wouldn't it be great if it you could just jump in? Great pool weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, quite smart Ron. that they have it empty at this point. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. All right.